Hi everyone, Code Queen Ayeli. This is going to be a quick video. This is actually requested by Peter. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use repeaters. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter, I had to. So, first, let's go to our toolbar up here at the top. And let's make sure that the developer tools are activated so we can access the Wix code part of the editor. Then we're going to go over here to our little menu, click on the plus sign, go to this option, lists and grids. These little cool things right here are called repeaters. And I'm going to show you how to use one of these, drag and drop any one. I'm going to use the first one because I'm going to delete all this stuff anyway. I'm going to show you how to use one of these repeaters to actually um, perform a small listing. For example, the repeater that I just dragged and dropped right now, I think it has something to do with booking because the button at the bottom says book now. So I'm gonna remove all this stuff. Um, I actually wanna try out a different layout uh, simply because I wanna show you all the different options that you have to use here. So let's go to manage items. Notice how it says one, two, and three. These simply represent the three separate items that are inside of the repeater right now. So I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to work with one repeater box. Everything that is inside of this container box is part of that repeater. I'm going to remove this white box, all the text, the image that was up at the top, everything, everything, everything. This is still the repeater item. Anything in this box will repeat down the page in the order that you put it with the pattern, the design, the settings that you put. For example, if I want this entire space to be my one first item, then all the rest of the items will repeat the same size. So anything in here will be a part of my repeater. Now I'm going to add elements. So let's go. Let's add any random picture. Let's do this one. Outdoor wedding. No hints to anyone. Oh, look, and a bicycle too. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> Kidding. All right, so let me make this image just a little bit smaller. Now I have it ready. I'm going to drag it into my repeater box. I'm gonna have it right there. Then let me add some text. Uh, anyone will do. We'll put it here at the top. Let's copy and paste another one. I'm going to add a second text line and maybe let's add a third. So I'm going to put information here, please. This is not a hint to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that there. I think I will add a button too, just in case. Maybe, I don't know, we want them to go somewhere. So I'm just gonna add the button right there. Possibly I have a, a dynamic page somewhere on my website and when they click on that button, it'll send them to this specific items dynamic page. I have one box, but maybe I have 50 different listings inside of my database. Do I have to design this 50 times? No, I just did it one time. If I want to look at more than one, I click on manage items. I go over here, click on duplicate, and then I can duplicate it down the page if I wanted to. It's not change anything. If I delete them, they will still repeat down the page. But what I did was I designed one box, one time, and now I can connect it to the database so that way multiple 
boxes or repeater items will repeat down the page. Why is this relevant? Well, let me show you. This is an example of a repeater. One transparent box with text at the top, text at the bottom, and an image all the way down the page. It was designed one time and it'll repeat down depending on how many items you have in that database. Don't know how to add items? Then I recommend you watch my basics video. This repeater can also be shortened. For example, let's say I want the text on top of the image. This does not look pretty by the way, so I don't recommend this type of design. Let's say this is the space of my items and all of my items will stay the same. Well, let's add a second item here. This is what it'll look like if I have two items with the settings that I have right now. If I click on here and I manage the layout, I can center it. Now I know this is how two items will look like on my page with this type of setting. I can change it again, move them to the right, move them to the center, make the space bigger, move them to the left. Figure out where you want these images aligned. It's pretty neat, right? Now look, I have two items, right? Let me click on this one. If I move it, oh, the other one moves too. That means they will always be identical. The pattern repeats. The design, however, will not repeat between this one and this one. Let me show you what I mean. If I change the color, let's change it to that one. That one's green and that one's black. Whenever this repeats down the page, that is the color that I will repeat. The first item will be green with the title and then the second one will have the black and it'll repeat that way all the way down. Two to a row, First one with a green title and the second one with a black title. Are you loving it? I know I love it. This has saved me so much time on designing. Now, how do you connect it to the database after you're done? Simply click on the repeater. Notice how I'm clicking on an empty space. Click on the database and then select your database. For this tutorial site, I don't have any databases created just yet. But as soon as you connect it to your database here, the whole repeater is connected to it. Then you can connect each individual item to that specific field. The title can be connected to the title. The description box can be connected to the description field inside of your database. You only connect it one time. Once this box connects, all the other boxes connect. They will all connect to the same thing. One design, one connection. Cool, right? You should go try it. Let me know how that works for you. Bye.